Now the next program is if they have given you a binary tree, then how will you uh, you have to count the number of uh, leaves in the binary tree? So the program will be count number of leaves in a binary tree. Okay. So how do you identify whether a node is a leaf or not? Think about it. So to identify whether a node is leaf or not, we have to identify whether it is having it is not having a left child and a right child. If it, if any node is not having a left and the right child, then only this node is a leaf node. Otherwise, this node is not a leaf node. Okay. So we have to write a program for this. So let us try to identify uh, the recursive function for this. So it will be a number of leaf nodes for any tree. Let us suppose the tree is T. Then this is going to result as uh, it will be the uh, we are going to count uh, whether a node is a leaf node only when if the left uh, there is no no left subtree for this node and there is no right subtree. Okay. Otherwise, what we are going to do is we have to identify what are the number of leaf nodes in the left tree uh, subtree and what are the number of leaf nodes in the right subtree. Okay. So we have to call this number of leaf nodes in the left subtree and plus number of leaf nodes in the right subtree. So what I am saying is, for example, if you are having this binary tree, okay, for this binary tree, how will you identify whether a node is a leaf node? So to identify whether a node is a leaf node, you have to check whether there is a left child or a right child. So if a node is having any child, whether it may be left or right, then it is not a leaf node. Otherwise, it is a uh, leaf node okay so here i'm checking if a node is not having any left child and it is also not having right child then it is a leaf node in that case we are going to count that node as one otherwise we have to identify if for example this is not a leaf node then we have to identify how many leaf nodes are there in the left part plus how many leaf nodes are there in the right part okay so this will be our program correct so uh, now let us convert this uh, recursive uh, this uh, mathematical equation to a recursive function so it will be number or just make the function name as leaf identifier. Okay, this will be our function name which is which is leaf identifier. And then in this leaf identifier we are going to take node star root. Okay. So if uh, root is equal to null, that means there is no data in the, into the root. So here also I have to add this condition if root is null. So it is 0 if uh, t is equal to null. Okay, so you have to add, add this uh, equation before this. So if there is no uh, t in the root, then you have to add, uh, return 0. That means uh, if t does not exist. Okay. Otherwise, if the left uh, pointer of this root Uh, if the left is null, okay, so I do not need this one actually. So if the left is null and there is no right pointer also, so root arrow right, right is also null. It means both of these are null, there is no left and there is no right. In that case, I have to say return 1 that it is a leaf node, okay. Otherwise, what I have to do is I have to call leaf identifier. Yeah, this will be a return statement actually. So it will be else return leaf identifier. I am calling this function again on the left part. So it will be root arrow left plus leaf identifier. into root arrow right okay that means there's uh, how many number of leaves are there in the left part plus how many number of leaves are there in the right part so this will be our function to identify whether uh, how many leaf nodes are there in a, in a any particular bi uh, binary tree okay let us suppose we are having this binary tree so i'm just uh, making it short so that uh, we can execute this program mm -hmm. effectively so uh, let us suppose the address is 1000 here it is its address is 2000 its address is 3000 here the address is 4000 
and here the address is 5000 and here the address is 6000 okay now let us suppose we are calling this function on this and instead of writing leaf identifier i'm just uh, going to write l uh, l i okay so i'm writing l i at 1000 that means uh, i've given the root address of this no now this if statement will not be executed because uh, this 1000 is not null so we are going to call we are going to check this uh, next if statement and this next if statement will not be executed because for this 1000 uh, there's a right child and there's a left child therefore this condition is false and then we are going to go through the else part so it is going to return leaf identifier into the left uh, subtree that is 2000 for this right and then it will be calling leaf identifier 4000 okay so when it called leaf identifier 2000 in that case this uh, initial if statement will not be executed and uh, this if statement will not be executed why because this uh, node 2000 is having a right child therefore we are going to execute the else part for this leaf identifier 2000 it is going to execute leaf identifier null plus leaf identifier 3000 okay so when it called leaf identifier null in that case this initial if statement will be executed so it is going to return as zero so when we call leaf identifier 3000 in that case uh, the left pointer and the right pointer both are null therefore uh, we are not going to execute the if statement because 3000 is not null so we are going to execute this next if statement where we are checking that the left pointer and the right pointer both should be null okay so it is going to return as one okay so the complete value will be 0 plus 1 which is 1 so this one value will be returned to li 2000 then we have to call li 4000 so when we call li 4000 in that case the initial if statement will not be executed so this statement is also will not be executed because this node is having both left and right child so this else statement will be executed so it is going to call li 5000 plus li 6000 now for this uh, node 5000 both left and right pointer will be ex uh, null therefore we are going to execute this statement here so for this statement it is uh, going to return 1 and here also the left and the right pointer is null therefore it is also going to return 1 so this is 1 plus 1 is 2 and this 2 value, be return value will be returned to this function right therefore the complete value will be uh, this complete value will be 1 plus 2 is 3 okay so this three value will be returned to this now if you seen this above tree there are exactly three leaves here okay that means our program is working correctly